and clean the contacts and the pivots. I use Noxon to clean all the metal and the contacts and I use uh, distilled white vinegar um, with toothpicks to clean all everything but for now we're just going to clean the pivots on top and on the bottom. So whenever you get a bug and you feel like you want to clean it, don't use any sandpaper in the contacts. Just get yourself a, for five bucks some noxum, some tooth, uh, some <coughs> Q-tips. Okay, so let's get started. First, we want to uh, remove the weight. We want to back up all the screws. We need a lot of room. Take that, back up this one. The stop and the spring. There's a spring down there. It's tight because it's been around some dirt a long time. And the top is going to go off. Remember, although it has a slot, never use a screwdriver to tighten this down on the frame. That's one of the pivots. So the other thing, oh, I forgot to take out the, the dash back up. So the only thing that's left is to lift up and take it out. So we'll clean the uh, dot contact, the dash contact, the lower pivot, clean the upper pivot and we'll clean these contacts right here. Let's see how dark that is. And then we'll reassemble it. So that's the minimum part. Uh, I'll continue. I usually take uh, everything off, do everything with the still, wax it up, and reassemble. But for now, if you just want to go this far, just uh, clean the contacts and reassemble. So let me get going with the cleaning. It's hard to do this one hand. Start coming up black. We'll continue doing this until it comes out pretty clear. You can see that the uh, that the contact will get nice and shiny as we progress. Because I'm holding one. Phone with one, with one hand. Let's see what it looks like. As you can see, it's a. Uh, let me start to uh, shine up a little. So we'll continue with that. We'll do the uh, dash and we'll come back in a second and I'll show you how to do the pivot. So we're back. I just uh, cleaned the, uh, let's see, it's hard to see. The 
tip there you see nice and shiny I cleaned the top pivot and I also cleaned the bottom pivot and so if you could if that's all you want to do is clean the uh, contacts I recommend you take this out that way you have room to clean the the the, uh, dit, the da and you have room to clean these two right here and the pivot and of course the uh, pivot screws while you're at it before you assemble it you might want to uh, take a rag and just wipe around here put it on the and another part, I'm going to disassemble the whole thing and show you how I put it inside the vinegar and uh, use the polish to brighten it up. Now this particular one has a, has a little paint trauma here, but that's not right now for, for this part of the discussion. So let's uh, reassemble it and uh, see how it came out. So the first thing we'll do is... Uh, this back in here. Make sure it's on the lower pivot. There it is. And the top pivot. Let's back up this screw. And we'll see you guide it in there. Another video I'll show you how to do the adjustment for, for right now is uh, when you grab this, it goes up and down. Or in other words, you want to grab it and pull up and down. It's a little play, just, just, a, just a smidgen. Just lock it down. There we go. Just lock it in place. Okay, we'll uh, hook up the spring and put the back weight, the back, put the weight back on. So I um, brought it back into the uh, to the shank to listen to it. So I put the weight back on. And like I said in another video, I'll show you how to adjust it. But right now we just need to uh, see how the contacts is. This particular one is a stop, and you just want to. Just barely touch the damper wheel. And then lock it in place. Attention spread. This is to adjust to your preference. I like to push it all the way in so that it will rest against the, the damper wheel and lock it in place. This is the uh, dip stop. Everybody has their way of doing it. I like it. Okay, then the uh, let's see what it sounds like here.
So I'm making a, a video later on on how to how I adjust the keys. Well, that's all I want to show you right now is how to clean. Next we'll be adjusting this. This is off a little bit. Uh, how, um, how to clean the contacts. That's the, the dot, the dash, and the pivots. And again, underneath they're attached with straps and they're insulated. The next video I'll go back, we'll take everything out, and I'll show you what I do when I, I clean this. This is really rough and pitted. I clean the whole thing take everything apart and see what I could do with this but anyway this should get you going if you just uh, picked up a bug and you want to clean the contacts again no screwdriver here and no file the sandpaper here just uh, disassemble it uh, with the arm clean the pivots clean the contacts with uh, some Norton uh, metal polish and you're set to go bye bye now